Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Have you ever done a composite in Photoshop and the composite layer colors didn't match? For example, I have this image of the woman and I clipped her out of this scene and I dropped her into this scene. And as you can see, the colors don't match at all. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to get the colors to match. The first method I'm going to show you is one of the new neural filters found in Photoshop. So we're going to launch the neural filters. We're going to go up to filter, down to neural filters. And the specific neural filter we're going to be using is called harmonization. Now, as of the making of this video, it's still in beta, but I'll turn it on. Now, once you turn it on, you need to tell Photoshop which is the reference layer. Now we have the two layers. We have the background layer which is the layer of the band. And then we have the woman, that's the layer above the background layer. The background layer is the main color. That's the color I want everything to harmonize with. So what we need to do is go up to select layer and choose that background layer. And once you do that, you'll see at the bottom it says processing on device. Once it processes, you'll see it adjusted the color. It did a little bit of a subtle job for me, so I'm going to increase the strength considerably to make it much stronger, and we'll let it process. Now you can affect the color balance between the cyan and red, magenta and green, yellow and blue, with saturation and brightness. I'm going to make it a little darker as well. So you can, you do have some control over the adjustments. And once you're satisfied, I'm going to output it to a new layer and click OK. Now that's our harmonization layer. There is what it looks like, and there's the before, and there's after, before, after, and it did okay. Let's call that harmonization. So that's the harmonization layer, but I'm gonna show you the second method. And I actually prefer this other method more. It's a little more work, but I think it works a lot better. Now what we're gonna do is, I have that layer off now, the harmonization layer. So we're gonna go down to our original background layer, and I'm going to duplicate it by hitting Command-J on my Mac. It's Control-J on a PC. Then what I want to do is I want to blur this layer t out totally. So I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, Average Blur. And you can see now it just blurred out that background and gave us this kind of average color. Then what we're going to do is we're going to drag that layer above the layer with the woman on it. So drag it, drag it up above. Then what we want to do is change the opacity to soft light. Now you could see it affected the color, but it's affecting the color of everything. So it's uh, that background layer that had the color already, it's making it like twice as intense. We just want it to affect the woman. So what I need to do is clip it to the layer of the woman. And to do that, hold in the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, and just hover between the two layers. And when you do that, you'll see the cursor turns into that square with the down arrow. Just click once, and now it's clipped to the woman. So it's only going to affect the woman and nothing else. Now, if it's a little bit too strong, and it might be a little bit too strong, uh, just turn down opacity. Just like that. So you could get it to kind of match the scene and the lighting a little better. So that's the way I prefer to do it, and that's the way I've always done it. It's a, a couple more steps, but it actually isn't very hard to do. So I'll turn that off, and we'll turn the neural filter version back on. So there's the neural filter version. There's the original image, and there is the version that I prefer to use. And again, you could change opacity down. Also, you could experiment with uh, different types of blend modes. Most often, soft light, I found, works the best. But some people sometimes find with some, with some images, overlay will work better. And even in other images, hard light might work better. But I think soft light works fine. Just tweak it down a little more like that. So there are two different ways to get the color between different composite layers to match. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. 
I'll talk to you guys soon.